Terry Talks with Terry Gillis. Hi, everyone. Welcome to another Terry Talk. It's fall. Yes, I know it's not quite fall. It's the Tuesday after Labor Day, and fall is in for another three weeks or so because it's on the 22nd this year. But nonetheless, a little bit of crispness in the air this morning. Did you, did you sense that? It means that change is afoot. And what better way to recognize that with all the pictures today of people uh, with their kids, first day of school uh, pictures on Facebook. If you're one of those people, I'm an old guy, I'm on Facebook, but uh, lots of photos there. Um, saw the school buses on the road today for the first time, at least in our part of the world. So a lot of kids heading back that way. Yesterday, dropped off my kids at, at university. So that's starting back up. Feels a little normal, doesn't it? No, there's some apprehension out there. The pandemic's still with us. COVID's still doing its thing out there. And so some excitement out there, some apprehension. Lots going on. And for some of us, it's back to work. I always think of Labor Day as kind of that pivotal point in our year where summer's done, the holidays are done, the kids are back to school. So Time to get back to work, time to get back at it. And this year, that's really salient because for some of you, that means that maybe it's the first time you're back in the office in quite some time. Others still holding back a little bit. We know the Delta variant's still out there causing a lot of chaos as it does. And so we're still still, uh, still holding back a little bit there. And that, that's okay. So really, I always like to think of Labor Day as really the true new year as opposed to January 1st. You know, it's a reset time. And, and, it, and, and the big thing is, is change, right? There's a lot of change in these next you know, few days. And that can be a little overwhelming sometimes. So I wanted just to share with you just a couple of tips that have served me well and served many others that we've chatted with over the years when they're dealing with a lot of change. The first thing always, whenever you're feeling a lot of stress and apprehension or whatever it is, gratitude. You know, just be thankful for the blessings that we have. And you've got a lot of them around you. We live in an awesome part of the world. Yeah, we're not perfect. Yeah, we've got our issues and problems, but sometimes I think we take for granted the things around us. And just being noticed, noticing those things and being grateful and thankful can have a profound impact on our mental well-being. The, the second piece I'd offer up is just focusing your energies on the things you can't control. Some of you have heard me speak about this before. When you're focusing your mental energies on things you can't control, that's kind of a lot of lost energy. It's you know, endless worrying, you know, worrying about what the weather will be tomorrow. We have no control over that. Let's not spend our energy there. Focusing, rather, our mental energies and our focus on those areas that we have control over can have a profound impact on how we navigate through life. The other thing I really recommend, I just had a conversation with, I don't know, it seemed like the theme of the week last week with several people is celebrating your successes and celebrating your accomplishments. It reminds you, you've done some really cool things and you accomplished some really awesome things. Let's celebrate those. Not only will it help you feel a little bit better, but also going to help you build your confidence. The other one is turn off the news. I be, you know, I get sucked into that vortex of just looking at the news, Afghanistan, hurricanes. I mean, it's just it's endless and there's seemingly no good news anymore. I just turn it off, get rid of it, stop looking at it. And then finally, of course, the parent in me is going to say it. Get ready for it. Yeah, get the trifecta right. You know what it is. Sleep, exercise, and nutrition. Yeah, it sounds, you know, oh, here we go again. Yeah, it can be such a profound impact on, on our overall well-being. Getting, getting enough rest and getting some good exercise. Even just walking can be incredibly powerful. And just watching the, that nutrition. Over the summer, we kind of cheat a little bit sometimes, but just kind of getting back into that mode and, can be really helpful. I'm sure there's lots of other tips too, and I'd love to see some of them in the comment box here and share with the community at large and just in terms of how we can help help just navigate this change, this time of uncertainty, a little bit turbulent waters, how we can get through that a little bit better. Look forward to seeing you again soon. Thanks for joining us.